In this video, I will consider one numerical on to design digital filter using bilinear transformation. The normalized transfer function of a second order Berthwaite filter is given by h2 of s is equal to 1 over s square plus 1.414s plus 1. Convert the analog filter into digital filter with cutoff frequency of 0.5 pi radians per second using bilinear transformation. Assume t equal to 1 second. So here the analog filter. So here the normalized transfer function of second order Butterworth filter is given that is H2 of S. With the help of this we supposed to design the digital filter whose cutoff frequency must be 0 0.5 pi radians per second using bilinear transformation. So here the digital cutoff frequency given is 0 0.5 pi radians per second. I will call it as omega c that is omega c the digital cutoff frequency is which is omega c is equal to 0 0.5 pi radians per second. We know that in bilinear transformation that is we know that in bilinear transformation the relation between digital cutoff frequency and analog cutoff frequency is given by omega is equal to 2 by t we have tan omega by 2. So this is the relationship between digital frequency and analog frequency. So here this omega is digital frequency and this omega is analog frequency. Now with the help of this we will try to find the analog cutoff frequency. So therefore analog cutoff frequency that is omega c is equal to 2 by t tan omega c divided by 2. So therefore I can write omega c is equal to 2 divided by t is given that is 1 second. So it is 1 we have tan omega c that is cutoff frequency 0 0.5 pi that is 0 0.5 pi divided by 2. Therefore, so let me simplify this. So first let me calculate 0 0.5 pi divided by 2 that is 0 0.5 shift pi divided by 2 which is equal to this one. The tan of answer is 1. So 1 into 2 is into 2 which is equal to 2. So omega, two, omega c is 2 radians per second. So let me write that 2 radians per second. So this is analog cutoff frequency. This we have calculated with the help of digital cutoff frequency. So now let me write the transfer function of analog filter. That is therefore the transfer function transfer function of analog filter is given by so that is we will represent it as h a of h a of s represents transfer function of analog filter which is equal to the normalized transfer function that is h2 of s which is given here provided that s should be replaced by s yes by omega c that is I can write it as h a of s is equal to h2 of s yes. s yes should be replaced by s yes by omega c is 2. So now we supposed to replace each s yes in h2 of s yes by s yes by omega c so that we will get h a of s. Yes. So therefore 
एच ए ऑफ यस इज इक्वल टू वी हैव वन डिवाइडेड बाय यस स्क्वायर वन डिवाइडेड बाय यस स्क्वायर यस शुड बी रिप्लेसड बाय यस बाय टू स्क्वायर इज सॉरी प्लस वी हैव वन पॉइंट फोर वन फोर यस वन पॉइंट फोर वन फोर यस यस शुड बी रिप्लेसड बाय यस बाय टू प्लस वन let me simplify this that is h a of s is equal to we have 1 upon s square by 4 plus 1.414 s divided by 2 plus 1 or by simplifying further i will take the lcm 4 will be the lcm so on de denominator lcm will come on numerator that is 4 divided by s square plus 2 into 1.414 that is 2.828 yes plus we have 4 so now here ha of s is analog filter now we have to convert this analog filter into digital filter digital filter is represented by h of z so in bilinear transformation to convert analog filter into digital filter we supposed to replace each yes by that is s yes should be replaced by 2 by t 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse that is 2 divided by t value is given that is 1 second 2 by 1 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse now replace each s yes by 2 In bracket one minus z inverse divided by one plus z inverse. Therefore, we can write the digital filter is represented as h of z, which is equal to h a of s, provided that s should be replaced by two in bracket one minus two in bracket one minus z inverse divided by one plus z inverse. So therefore. now we can write the digital filter h of z is equal to we have 4 divided by so s yes is nothing but 2 in bracket 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse so here we have s square that is this entire square plus we have 2.828 yes yes is nothing but into 2 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse plus we have 4 there or i can write h of z is equal to 4 divided 4 1 minus z inverse square divided by 1 plus z inverse square Plus 2.828 into 2, it gives 5.656. One minus z inverse divided by one plus z inverse plus four. So let me simplify this further. So here one plus z inverse square will be the LCM. So that will come on numerator. That is four. 1 plus z inverse square. So on denominator we have 4 into 1 minus z inverse square plus 5.656. We have 1 minus z inverse and 1 plus z inverse plus we have 4 into 1 plus z inverse square. h of z is equal to on numerator we have 4 into that is a plus b whole square 1 plus z power minus 2 plus 2z inverse divided by so here we have 4 into 1 plus z power minus 2 minus 2z inverse plus 
it is of form a plus b a minus b that is a square minus b square that is 1 minus z power minus 2 plus we have 4 in bracket 1 plus z power minus 2 plus 2z inverse h of z is equal to so on numerator we have 4 plus 8z inverse plus 4z power minus 2 divided by 4 plus 4z power minus 2 that is minus 8z power minus 1 plus we have 5.656 minus 5.656 z power minus 2 plus 4 plus 4 z power minus 2 plus 8 z power minus 1 that is h of z is equal to numerator is same 8 z inverse plus 4 z power minus 2 so on denominator we have here this term and this term will get cancelled this 4 plus 4 plus 5.656 that is 8 plus 5 that is 13.656 plus we have 4 z power minus 2 minus 5.656 z power minus 2 plus 8 plus 4 z power minus 2 that is 8 minus 5 that is 8 minus 5.656 it gives 2.344 z power minus 2 so this is the transfer function of digital filter using bilinear transformation thank you for